Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So we are here at Walmart to do our weekend warrior bonus and I got a field goal bonus. Let me know if you got that. Mine is $5 for 21 offers and my weekend warrior is $5 for 15 offers. So I'm going to knock that out today. I did submit my receipt today for four rebates. Um, one was for that C to fill. So if you saw my community post, the C to fill rebates are back. So I submitted my receipt from CVS on Sunday and I saved my rebates that I did in my Rite Aid haul. So that's four rebates back down, but I think I'm going to be doing some pay with Ibotta's. I always feel like I'm cheating when I do pay with Ibotta's. So I'm still super excited. Let's get started. So my store only has these 100 count liners in stock. So what I'm gonna do is grab two of them. They're 547 each. So that'll total me 1094. I'm gonna use a $4 off two coupon from the one to smart source. So I'll pay 694, but then I'm gonna submit to Ibotta. We have these three different rebates attaching. So I'm gonna get back a total of $6.10 from Ibotta. So that's gonna make both of those just 84 cents. I'm also grabbing one of these clearance Revlon concealers or foundation, I think it's called. So these are clearance for $5.49 in my store. I'm gonna use this $4 coupon, pay $1.49 and submit to Ibotta for $2 back, making this a 51 cent money maker. This Garnier dry shampoo here is clearance in my store for $1.38 each. I'm gonna grab two of these. That's gonna total me $2.76, but then I'm gonna submit to the coupons.com app for $3 back, making these a 24 cent money maker. I found this just for men here, clearance for $2. I have a $2 rebate on Ibotta, so that's gonna make this free. I'm gonna grab a pack of this extra gum for a dollar. I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for 25 cents back, making this 75 cents. Okay, so my store doesn't carry the core bars, but check your stores. We have three different free after offers on Ibotta, so this is a great way to hit our bonus. All right, it's time to announce the winners. So these are the three winners for the Unilever insert giveaway. So all three of you will be getting six inserts. Please email me at itscouponmode at gmail.com and give me your mailing address so I can get these coupons out to you ASAP. Thank you all so, so much for entering the giveaway. This was really fun to see what kind of items you feel like you don't need a big stockpile on. So let's get back to our rebate haul. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this stand here. So for the past couple weeks, these have been marked at 250 according to the sign, but they're not ringing up 250. They're ringing up $3.28. So what I'm gonna do is grab two of the toasted chips. I'm gonna have them price match to 250. So two of them will total me $5. I'm gonna use a 75 cent off to Nabisco coupon from the 1-9 Smart Source. So I'll pay 425, but then I'm gonna to submit to Ibotta. I'm gonna get back a dollar for each one. Then I'm gonna to submit to Swagbucks. I'll get back a dollar for buying two. And I'm gonna to submit to Checkout 51. I'm gonna get back a dollar for buying two. So that's gonna make two bags only 25 cents. Here's an option you can do for two different rebates so this red bull you have to grab the 12 ounce for 250 we have two different rebates attaching one for 25 cents and one for a 10 cent energy drink so that would make this two dollars and 15 cents what i'm gonna do is pick up one of these rock stars for a dollar 50 submit to ibotta for that 10 cent any energy drink making this a dollar and 40 cents I'm gonna grab some more Sargento Creamery for $2.70. I'll submit to Ibotta for a dollar back, making this $1.70. This is just too good of a deal to not pick up. So the Shady Brook Farms Ground Turkey, the 85% lean, this is $2.92. Between the Scan Kicks and Buy Kicks, I'm gonna get back $2.08 from Shopkick. So that's gonna make this only 84 cents. I'm also gonna grab some mac and cheese since this rebate is expiring soon. So this is a dollar. 
I'm gonna get back 35 cents for my bada, making this 65 cents. So this is everything I'm picking up today at Walmart, and I just realized I forgot to record the Red Baron. So the stuffed crust pizza is priced at $6.48. We have a $1 rebate on Ibotta, making that $5.48. All right, so this is my haul. So the main thing I guess you could say that I wanted to pick up was the Red Baron stuffed crust. Now there wasn't a whole lot of things that I wanted to pick up. I mean, I didn't want to get just a bunch of random stuff and then be like, eh, this was kind of a boring haul. But oh my gosh, Sargento and Red Baron and Turkey and my husband's rock star. So, and those Ritz toasted chips are bomb. So, um, everything, I only had those three coupons and they scanned no problem. She had no problem um, fixing the price for this and she also fixed the price for this. So this was marked at a dollar, but it rang up a dollar eighteen, which is what it's been doing. But since I had her fix that, and this is right there by the checkout, um, I just had her adjust that too. So that's what saved me eighteen cents just for the gum. So um, I just did everything on one receipt. I did do quite a few pay with Havadas, um, but let's just go over my receipt. So there's the extra and all of like these that she voided off um yeah it was just that one that she voided and the gum so then here's the gum for a dollar and then the two ritz for 250 the mac and cheese for a dollar the rock star for a dollar 50 the red baron was 6.78 i think i said it was 6.48 um and then the sargento for 270 the ground turkey for 292 the two you buy Kotex with my $4 coupon, the Just for Men for $2, the two Fructis dry shampoos, the Revlon foundation with my $4 coupon. So my subtotal here was $33.34. I submitted to the coupons.com app for $3 back on the Garnier. I did get back a dollar from Checkout 51 for the Ritz and I ended up getting back $6.02 from Swagbucks. So I did have to submit for a review for the Ritz, but it was real quick. I got that dollar back. But if you remember, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, I don't know what happened, but I ended up getting back a $5 sesh alcohol rebate. And I don't even have that rebate clipped. So I'm not sure what's glitching over there that it's picking that up, even though... Like I don't have it like activated or whatever it's called. So I ended up getting back $6.02 from Swagbucks. I'm going to get back $2.08 from Shopkick for the Shady Brooks. And I ended up getting back $24.80 for my Bada. And that does include my $5 Weekend Warrior and my $5, um, what is it, field goal bonus. So that's $24.80 from Ibotta. So that makes everything here a $3.84 moneymaker. So it would have been a small cost if that I didn't get $5 back from that, which I just, I don't know. That just seems like super weird. So um, yeah, that is my haul. Super excited for what I got. Um, that was a good find for that. I am really excited for the P&G this week because we have quite a bit of, um, P&G items on clearance, like the shampoos and stuff like that. And we still have some, I bought a rebate. So fingers crossed, they are still there come Monday. So let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. It is free free to subscribe and join the coupon mode fam. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And until then, stay in coupon mode. Bye.